Good morning, everybody. We're Thief River Falls, Minnesota. Oh, just waking up here. I'm gonna check the oil, make sure everything is as it should be. Oh, excuse me. There it is. Yep. Morning time has arrived. The sun's already in the sky. It beat us to it, so we gotta step on it. Let's go. We have a trailer waiting. I just got my load info sent through to me. Let's grab it and go. Truck cab has been toasty warm all night, thanks to my bunk heater. Oh, I wasn't sure how cold it was going to be out here, but it's actually not that bad. Oh, yeah. oh my neighbor left already. There was a truck parked beside me here last night. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's a heavy hood. All right, old blue. We're in neutral. No problem.
here and they want to see how fat I am. This is going to be embarrassing. I ate a lot over Christmas. This scale is open at all kinds of hours. You know, some scales are open, you know, just during business hours. And this one's like sometimes it's the middle of the night, sometimes it's the middle of the day. Sometimes they're closed for a week and then suddenly they're open for two weeks straight. Right, right. I'm turning, Karen. I'm going. You see me? We're going to the scale. I'm definitely not overweight, but they are going to want to take a look at my truck. Meters. Turn right on 5th Street West. I got nothing to hide. They can look at it all they want. I'd rather not spend the time going through an inspection, but you know, we'll see how they're feeling today. You want to inspect my truck? Whatever, you go ahead. Give me my little sticker when you're done, though. They give you a little sticker for your windshield. That tells all the other inspectors that you've already been inspected, so they might let you go a little easier. But that doesn't always help either. Sometimes they inspect you anyways, even if you have a sticker. You never know. It all depends on the individual officer in, the little, in their little hut here. The sign says stop before entering scale. I always stop unless if they flash the next axle sign at me. Stop, something to zero the scale, read my plate. In 300 meters, keep to the right on King Street and then turn left in 50 meters. About 4,900 kgs on the steers. On my drives, we got about 8,500 kgs. Let me get a good look at my trailer there. Trailer axles are sitting at about 9,500 kgs and we got the green light. gives you a little signal in your truck here that you can go past. Even then, Turn I feel left. a little nervous. Karen, I'm trying to talk. Stop. So I think I'm only going to be doing one load today because it's uh, New Year's Eve Eve. And uh, the shipper is closing down at 4 p.m. Usually they're open 24 meters, hours. Turn right on Lord Selkirk Highway, Aaron, Highway 75. Aaron, I'm not going to tell you again. Don't interrupt me. You're not going to put a muzzle on her. In 200 meters, Aaron, turn right on Lord Selkirk Highway, Highway 75. I can turn the volume down, but then I forget to turn it back up later. And then I get lost in my music and I miss my turn. Don't look at me like that. It happens to all of you. He's not a real trucker. Shouldn't rely on his GPS like that. This road for 13 kilometers. You all do it too. Don't look at me like that. You all turn the volume off on your GPS now and then. And then miss your turn. We become a little too reliant on them, right? I'll admit. I'll admit it. Those signs there say radar detectors are illegal in Manitoba. It's kind of funny. You, you can buy them at Walmart, but they're illegal. They're not illegal to have. They're illegal to use. Figure that one out.
here in the shop and we got the wife seven months pregnant <coughs> gotta take your shoes off before coming in here everything's hard right now okay. how's baby doing kicky kicky and give me a lot of heartburn and hip pain hey hey this is baby's first time in the truck it is baby's first time in the truck we don't got any sheets on there or anything, but uh, it's okay. I'm clean. But you're clean. I trust you. I have a little bit of dog hair on my pants. But... Cleaner than me. I wouldn't lay on that bed right now. <laughs> I've been working all day. All, all right. right. It's that Odyssey truck mattress. You tell me what you think. Well, that's nice. Oh, that's real. Oh, that's. It is nice, isn't it? This, this might be nicer than our bed at home. That's a lot of sand. It is pretty nice, eh? Stearns and Foster, you need to up your game. You got competition now, buddy. Can you do a roll? Oh. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Don't fall off. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's so pillowy. It's like sleeping on a cloud, eh? It is. That is so nice. I've never had a mattress like this in a truck before. I've never had a mattress like this before. I thought ours was, like, top of the line, like... That was like a, what, $3,000 mattress. And mm -hmm. This one just put it to shame. And it's in a semi-truck. Jeepers. <laughs> What's baby think of it? Baby loves it. Yeah. Baby's already asleep. Oh, put it asleep already. Yeah. Okay, so from now on, whenever baby won't sleep, just bring it to the truck. Put it on the Odyssey mattress. <laughs> I could have used this today. Would stop kicking. Whew. This is actually the first time that... Uh, She's been in here with this new mattress, and first time baby's been in here on the inside. I mean, hopefully soon he'll be in here and on the outside, him or her. Not too soon. Not too soon. Three more months. Three and a half more months. That's right. right? No. Uh, less than three months, actually. Oh, man, it's coming so quick. <laughs> yeah, I got everything out in the shop here. She came to pick me up, and... Uh, Tomorrow I'm going to come to the shop here and install all those lights. So that'll be tomorrow's video. i got to get all those lights ready. And then uh, we'll figure it out from there. So, rating one out of one to five stars. What do you think? Well, I haven't slept on it yet, but I, would, I think I'd probably give it five from first impressions. Nice. I need to sleep on it to give it an official. So... When I need to escape you and the baby, I'll just come here and sleep. <laughs> and for tomorrow, here are all the goodies. Got this centerpiece for the back of the truck right there. I kept telling you that this piece broke. See, I have it bungeed up here. Hoping I can replace that because that broke off. Replace it with something better, right? And then these are the signal lights I was talking about for the fender. Really excited to get those put on. They came in. Put those on tomorrow. And then, uh, oh geez, I think I put this one. This one's open already. Just check them out. That's here. These are going to be the new marker lights for top of the sleeper and on top of the cab. And I'm installing those tomorrow as well. So tune in to tomorrow's video, guys. It's not going to be on the road, but we are going to be uh, installing those things. I know my dad's at home. I might need his help. So uh, tomorrow's vlog might feature my dad. It will at least feature his tools. I guarantee you that. I think I've got everything probably forgot something it's okay i'm gonna be back here tomorrow morning all right old blue you did good this week get a couple of your lights changed out tomorrow we'll see you later